get three of them per pack. And it, it, it does affect yourself, so I guess we can go ahead and showcase that off. You go ahead and get hit by it. It basically makes it so you cannot go upwards. Like, even if I... Well, unless I have momentum, I guess. Okay, if I'm on a, on a wall, I can't I can't climb up this. <laughs> it basically... You're screwed. The new ice trap. We're going to be testing out a bunch of other things with it. But uh, you can also kill yourself with it. Um, and that would be just going and hitting it and let's say you just falling off the edge So let's go ahead and just showcase that off and uh, Showcase off how long it's gonna last, you know all those things. That's the goal of this video. So anyways got hit by the ice blocks It does not prevent you from taking fall damage. That's the whole point uh, Of the uh, ice trap in the first place. It's basically to knock someone off or make them like unable to essentially gain the high ground once they're hit by it they're kind of just sitting duck, man. They're just going to be, like, building. You can still build. You can still do everything. Um, everything is just really difficult to control your character. But you can still slide with it. Technically, it can still give you kind of an advantage. If I was to walk over the trap, gain momentum. Like, for example, since I put it over there, we're going to go ahead and show one more quick little thing uh, with this. Let's say I had a gun. Let's go ahead and go uh, back over here. Pick up our, our uh, items. And then I'll show you what I mean by, like, you can kind of use it to your advantage. If you get hit by it and your opponent is basically on flat ground uh, is kind of what's ideal and they're not building at all because let's say I had a full auto weapon. It's probably better with full auto weapons, but if I was to get hit by it, it's not like it's uh, like a huge, huge disadvantage where there are no advantages because what you could do is throw a trap on the ground or, or like, for example, like this, if you see someone on the ground, you can slide down, right? Get all that momentum. You, you can even launch off like the ramp over here, right? Launch off the ramp, shoot, you go to go super high. Keep in mind, you still take fall damage, but just running in a direction and then crouching, you have superior strafe advantage. Definitely. Um, let's go ahead and just like do it like right here so we can show you maybe an, another example of it without going like, you know, over like the, uh, the ramp down it. But yeah, you can still slide and move quite faster than you would normally. So it's, it's pretty cool. So testing out the campfire with the the ice does it defrost it so i guess it does not it it, it does not it does not defrost us freeze trap and if the car goes over it do you get frozen the car's wheels actually get frozen oh my gosh that's insane so i'm gonna change this change seats Oh, it, it's like really slow to change. It might just be because of the server. Wait, if you get out of the car, your feet are also frozen? Okay, well that's really interesting. And then get, let's see if I still take damage. Okay. But, wait, can you like run and then crouch? That's another test. Oh, you can slide! You can slide and then still shoot! I mean, <laughs> that's so cool! I don't know, it's not that bad. I would I would love to see someone get a kill like that. Like you slide down. That's awesome. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I'm just gonna shoot your toes. Just don't move, don't move. Okay, there's one. Okay, at this point, next shot probably kills you. Okay. So shooting someone does not actually get rid of the ice, even if you just shoot their feet. That, that was our, our next experiment right there. How long the trap lasts? We're gonna have a timer over here. I don't think it makes a difference if we're moving or not. I mean, like, you'll see that there will be pieces of ice that chip off after a certain amount of time. Dude, it lasts a really long time. We're at 13 seconds. Okay, my guess, uh, it ended at, like, I have 15.67. It's probably going to be 15 seconds within margin of error. Um, since I was moving uh, during that one, I also wanted to test out just in case, like, you know, jumping or anything affects it. So I'm not going to move. Obviously, when you hit it, you're going to... You're gonna have to like kind of move because it just basically removes um, certain elements of like physics and stuff. So I'm gonna see if it's exactly 15 minutes or 15 minutes, no, uh, 15 seconds as well. You can hear kind of crack. I got more. And so crap. yeah, it is uh, 15 seconds as well. Still launch pad when your feet are frozen. The answer is yes, and you still have frozen feet. And when you land, you're still frozen. Oh my gosh, you go so fast. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, next test done. A teammates eyes so <laughs> okay so teammates can also affect each other okay well, let's see more chill if we boogie bomb ourselves okay so yeah you still dance you can but even if you boogie bomb yourself you're still iced
So this is collision issues with it going through objects, and yes, you can still get frozen even though there's stuff there. And the next test is going and see if we can glide. How far is it to aim at them while they're like in my All right, so even if you glide, you're still your your feet are still frozen, but you can still do that in six straight. Since so we're gonna test the launching capabilities, but if you have a ramp over here, this should actually break all momentum. So let's go ahead and showcase this off because you will build momentum as you're sliding down over here, but that should break all momentum. So it looks like it pushes you up a little bit, but um, I was crouched there. Even if you're not crouched, it basically breaks all momentum you won't launch off of it. But if you place a floor down and then go down the ramp, you should actually launch up. And let's see how far we actually do indeed go with this. We can also try like a bouncer at the very end, but that's just going to launch us. Um, which will make it so we don't take any damage. Okay, just gonna make sure I don't fall off here. Alright, so... So that will allow us to go up, but... Oh, we can actually keep pretty good momentum. But, let's go ahead and get rid of this, and see if we can actually launch. And let's grab a launch pad over here. Or not launch pad, the, the bouncer pad. The launch pad, obviously, we're gonna have to jump for that, so... What we're gonna test out now is... If we, I guess we can refreeze ourselves um, as we're going here. And then we're gonna place the, I'm actually gonna cut these in half. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, oh gosh, now I have to wait for this thing. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do this so we don't accidentally get hit by it. Because yeah, it's just gonna always slide us down. It lasts 15 seconds, it's almost done. So the test is how far will it launch us um, from there. And we can also put a, a a bounce pad, even though these are vaulted. It's just trying to see the interactions within uh, the game. Because we can't instantly put a ramp. It'll just not... Well, it's not like going to launch us super high. But for the sake of science, I'm going to put a launch pad right there. Let's see where we can go. Ooh. Wait, can you not? Oh, this is actually another interesting interaction, which I just noticed. If you're already frozen and you run over the freeze pad, it doesn't reset the counter. It doesn't restack the duration. In fact, we can test that out next. But uh, this is just testing it out. Let's just go ahead and run too, so we get maximum speed here. Oh, uh, okay. But since we're already frozen here, Not fall off here. <laughs> okay, caught ourselves. Okay, it's almost out. Because I'm pretty sure we we, we uh, procked it. So it lasts. Oh wait, I think it might be from a different source. So let's try this out. If we make something like this, and I put two. We'll put one. Okay, we can do it like this. So. Let's out my timer here, so we can test this out. So it lasts 15 seconds. If I step on this one, all right, I'm gonna wait 10 seconds. I'm not gonna touch that one, but I'm gonna touch that one after. Uh, so we're at seven. Okay, so if I touch it, it goes off. Let's see if that resets the entire counter on our ice block. And it looks like that actually does because it's a second one. But um, yeah, we're about. Yeah, so at this point, that actual, that actual reset it, but for some reason earlier it didn't. I'm not sure if that was due to momentum, but let's try it on the same one, as in can you refresh the cooldown on the uh, on it? So we're gonna go ahead and hit it. I wanna wait like 10 seconds, and then we're gonna hit it again and see if we can still re-get frozen so it resets the entire counter on it, but that was actually interesting. So 10 seconds has passed, we'll hop back right into it and see if it's going to reset it. Okay. So I'm not sure why in that particular instance it actually reset or it did not reset it, but you can see that there is interaction within that where it just didn't. Perhaps what happened is the the thing propped, but I didn't get frozen. Now that can happen. Like you can Okay, that time it didn't even make the sound. I think it's just because it's a new item, maybe that was just unlucky or we got lucky. Uh, really rare case, but normally um, I would say that it's just like the other traps. Sometimes it used to make hit by it. The next thing I wanted to test out with the ice traps is can you use um, any small bathroom object? Uh, this would be an excellent example over here to dodge it, or just any object to dodge it. 
because I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen people put spike traps down and you don't get hit by it, and that's because they're standing on an object. But the, the question would be, do I still get frozen if I'm in the bathtub? So I still do. Okay. Now, the next question that I wanted to, uh, or next experiment in this same scenario is testing it inside a room if I'm on top of the door, because that's obviously going to be much taller. So we're going to test that as well to maybe try to dodge a trap. Maybe your opponent is going to trap you in a room. You can find out if uh, being on top of the door will let you not get hit by it. Okay, so door, perfectly safe. You can see I'm moving. But on top of this, that's going to hit us. Okay, that's interesting. Just good stuff to know with that one. The question was, can you actually get hit by the trap if it's placed on bottom and the answer is this is probably the best way to do it because it's gonna hit someone they're not gonna expect it and then they're gonna get wrecked if i maybe hold backwards or if i just lightly move as soon as i bounce i could probably hit it yeah, that does work but if you were to say do this um gosh it's fine the chill's gonna end in two seconds <laughs> go all the way down to the bottom all right but if i was to actually hold w or on my analog stick, if I was to hold forward, um, what would actually happen would be I would actually go too far, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that, just in case you want to set up for some like stupid final kill. If I was to hold W, it'll actually just go too far, so it would not work in that instance. But you would have to hold backwards on it. What's the point of doing that? Um, the only point of really doing that would be to do that, have ice, maybe go down like a hill, right? And then have your gun out and slide and shoot for like a stupid victory royale, like, you know, disrespectful kind of entertainment thing. But, um, yeah. Alright guys, so that is it for our experimentation with all the interactions with the new freeze trap. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if you guys like the freeze trap, if you guys have messed around with it. Um, and also, if there's any other experiments you guys want me to do, let me know down below in the comment section below. But uh, I'll get you guys some good gameplay of it in the actual game very soon. But there's a lot of stuff that I just wanted to test to know exactly what would happen in these scenarios. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to see more of the new Fortnite interactions. Whenever they release new things, we always go ahead and go over like what happens when this does this, you know, what happens when this meets this. But anyways, thanks for watching guys, have a good one, and I am signing out.